Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashi Royal and in this video we are going to solve when x square minus y square is equals to 27, xy is equals to 18 and we have to find the value of x plus y. So let's start with the today's video solution. So first I'm considering this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. So I'm taking equation number 1 first x square minus y square is equals to 27. Now, both sides I'm going to divide with xy. So if I divide this by xy, this by xy, and this also divided by xy. So from here, one power will eliminate. So only x by y is left. And similarly, one power will eliminate. So y by x is left. It's equals to 27 by x. Y. Now, we have the value of x, y with equation number 2, that is 18. So, I am going to replace it here and write 18 in place of this. Now, let's substitute. So, I am substituting x by y is equals to p. So, y by x is equals to 1 by p. So, x, y by is p minus 1 by p is equals to 27 by 18. Now I'll take LCM so it becomes p here p square minus 1 is equals to 27 by 18. So we'll do cross multiplication. So here 18 p square minus 1 is equals to 27 p and here 18 p square minus 18 is equals to 27 p and I'm subtracting 27p from both sides. So the equation becomes eighteen p square minus twenty seven p minus eighteen is equals to zero. So now it's look like a quadratic equation. So we can do the middle term split. So we can write it as 18p square minus 36p plus 9p minus 18 is equals to 0. From first two terms, I can take 18p common. So what is left? p minus 2. And from this next two terms, I can take 9s common. So p minus 2 is equals to 0. Now we have two roots. First is 18p plus 9. And the second word is P minus 2 is equals to 0. So case 1 is when 18 P plus 9 is equals to 0. So P is equals to, first we'll take plus 9 to other side, that is minus 9. Then multiplication 18 to other side in division. So P is minus 1 by 2. Now case second. Then P minus 2 is equals to 0. So P minus 2 goes to other side, turns to plus 2. So P is equals to 2. Now we rejected minus 1 by 2. So as we can see, because there is P square, that means P will be greater than 0. So we reject this value, negative 1. Now we are going to solve this when P is equals to 2. So as we know that we substitute x, y, y is equals to P. That means x, y, y is equals to 2. I'm going to multiply y both sides. We eliminate it. So x is equals to 2, y. Now I'm going to substitute the value of x in equation number second. That is xy is equals to 18. So 2y y is equals to 18. So 2y square is equals to 18. Y square, if I divide both square, y2. So y square is equals to 9 and y is equals to plus minus 3. The value of y is plus minus 3 and I am considering it as equation number third and put the value of y and find the value of x. So x is equals to first 2 multiply plus 3. So x is equals to 6. And then x is equals to 2 multiply minus 3. So x is equals to minus 6. 
So we eliminate the negative values. But in this case, we eliminate only minus three value. Plus three, we consider it. So we have to find the value of x plus y. So x plus y when x is equal to six plus six and y is equal to plus three. That is nine. And when x is equal to six and y is equal to minus three. x is equal to minus 9 and x plus y. So these are two cases and next two cases when both terms are negative. One is negative and one is positive. So x plus y when minus 6 plus 3. So minus 3. And x plus y then plus 6 minus 3, that is 3. So we rejected the negative ones. So the value of x plus y is 9 and plus 3. I hope it's clear and easy to solve. If you find it useful, please give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned.